guys, this is just a quick overview of the tank, especially the the overflow and the sump, it's especially for uh, Nadja on the nanoroof.co.uk site, top guy, he's interested in overflow, so here you go mate. Um, so this is a quick check at the tank, not going to spend much time on there. Yeah, a few extra corals, a few extra fish, all good, really happy, good stuff, especially now the blend he's got a little git. Um, so this is the Tunze overflow box, got this little padded bit that goes on, I'm supposed to keep the noise down a bit. Not too exciting, but it's pretty quiet as it is already. Um, quick show on this. Okay, so what we have on this side, you have a surface skimmer and a tube that goes down to about within an inch over the bottom of the tank. On this side, you've got a return outlet, um, and this is like a loose U bend with a tube we can suck the air out. So you chuck some tank water down here, get it kick started, suck out the air, the floor goes around here, and that's it, it works. Um, you can add an extra one of these to double the throughput. Nice and easy. What goes down here, down the back, just got a um, sponge there just to stop it rattling, goes down. So you can have a listen to this, it's quite quiet. Yeah, rock and roll. Goes into the back of the tank. Down here, comes into the return. Got a, a filter stock there, it's a 200 um, nm, I think it is. Um, catches tons of pods, it's absolutely full at the bottom of there, I've got a bit of filter floss. Um, change that once every week or two weeks at the most. Um, you should get tons of pods out there when I, when I squeeze it out. Um, on the return side, see there's no baffles or anything, it's just the most basic. It's just an Aqua Nano 40 I've converted, just to give me more um, more volume than uh, doing some pods. So it's an Ehan 2000 on full power, um, going back up to the return. Um, Got a bit of Cheeto and Galloper in there, getting loads of pods. I'm just going to see if I can power this down. So the lights have gone off up here. Power this down. Um, it's going to take a few seconds. Hopefully, I won't run a space when I'm recording the video. So the water's going to go from around here to up to here, which is everything coming down the tubes. Um, if you're going to do this, don't fill your sump up to here and then test it because it's going to overflow. You need to be able to account for everything in the overflow to come back into your tank. Yeah, and at some point you're going to hear a gurgling, that's everything coming back down. Okay, yeah, nice. Hurry up. Come on, you can see it's going back slowly. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll get one final gurgle in a minute. And hopefully I'm really going to run out of time because I want to fight back up and show you. There we go. That's your lot. So let's get it, um, oh, you can see it's coming back now. Okay, cool, let's get the power back up. Just see everything back on. You're gonna get a load of air bubbles in there, especially when you've got your fans on. Um, just cause, you know, that's just the way it is, there's a bit of air in the system. But the important thing is this, Yeah, you can see it going down. You can see that's filling up. There we go, so that's that's all looking good. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's kicked back in. And back down to 